Your bird may look silly and stupid sometimes, but there is a whole lot of stuff going on inside its little fluffy head. Today, you will figure out things that means a lot to your bird. What your bird wants from you, and whether your bird even understands your hugs and kisses. As a pet bird owner, it's important to understand that your feathered friend has unique needs and desires that you're not always aware of. To make sure your bird is never sad because you didn't pay attention to some things, here are five things your pet bird wants you to do every day. Provide daily variety. Your bird is a very smart creature that needs mental stimulation to thrive. I like to give my budgies a fresh branch of eucalyptus every week or so. You can also combine that with changing their perch position often, offering new vegetables and herbs, and hanging new toys to make your bird a little more energized and excited to start the day. Provide natural light. Your bird must have exposure to natural sunlight for its physical and mental well-being. Some bird species can die from staying too long in the dark, and some bird owners like to stay in the dark and don't appreciate it when their rooms are exposed to sunlight. So it's important that your bird has access to natural light every day. A great way to do so is placing your bird's cage near the windows. Provide quality time. Your bird craves your attention and companionship. Don't forget to spend quality time with your bird every day for several hours. Talking to it, playing with it, and even just staying around it while you're reading a book or on your phone. Provide a clean environment. Your bird is super sensitive to its environment. Make sure its cage, perches, and toys are always clean and free from any debris or droppings that could harm its health. Many owners tend to miss out on droppings that fall down into their bird's water, and that's the number one way to get your bird sick. So always pay attention to what's going on in and around your bird's cage. Provide time for exercise. Your bird needs regular exercise to maintain its physical health. Provide it opportunities to stretch its wings, fly, and explore in a safe and supervised environment. A great way to get your bird to explore is to set up a playground a little farther from its cage, so your bird will have to fly from its cage to the playground and so on. That way, your bird will get an opportunity to stay in shape. Ever wondered what's going on inside your feathered friend's mind? Birds have a secret language that they use to communicate with us. Today, we'll be decoding the mysteries of your bird's behavior and what your bird is actually trying to tell you. The language of feathers. Start with the basics. Feather shaking, preening, and fluffing can mean different emotions. When your bird is happy, it will often preen and keep its feathers sleek. It's like your bird putting on its best suit for a special occasion. However, if it's all fluffed up, that might be a sign of discomfort or a cold. It's your bird's way of telling you that something's not quite right. Imagine it as its version of a cozy blanket on a chilly day. Vocal Vibes Now let's talk about vocalizations. Your bird's cheers, squawks, and melodies are its way of expressing emotions. Think of it as its unique song, just for you. Cheerful chirping usually means your bird is satisfied and in a good mood. It's like it's singing a happy tune. But if you hear a loud squawk or screech, it could be a call for attention or even a warning. It's like your bird's way of shouting, hey, pay attention to me. Body language matters. Birds use body language to tell you how they feel. Pay attention to your bird's posture. It's like their silent communication. A puffed up bird might be anxious or sick, like it's trying to make itself appear larger to scare off a potential predator. On the other hand, a relaxed, upright stance often indicates your bird is at ease and comfortable in its environment. 
Wings flapping and tail talk. Wings flapping and tail movements are like your bird's version of sign language. If your bird flaps its wings or shakes its tail, it's like they're showing off or trying to impress you. It's their way of saying, look at me, I'm fabulous. Think of it as a little fashion show right in your living room. They just want to steal the spotlight for a moment. Beak actions. Lastly, what they do with their beaks actually says a lot. Light nibbling can be a sign of affection. It's like they're giving you tiny kisses, showing they care about you. On the other hand, aggressive pecking may indicate territorial behavior. It's their way of saying, this is my space, back off. It's basically a warning sign that lets you know they want their personal space respected. There are some things that mean a lot to our birds that we don't even know about. If you truly love and care for your bird, keep watching to find out 5 special things that are super important for your pet bird. Perfect sleeping spot. Birds love high spots. If you notice, your bird will always prefer to sleep on the highest perch inside its cage. That's why it's important to provide a thick, natural perch for your bird in the highest spot possible. Make sure that it's also not too high, so your bird won't have to bend its head while sleeping at night. Unconventional toys. Getting your bird regular bird toys is nice and all, but what your bird truly needs is unique and unconventional foraging toys that will keep it occupied and busy for hours. I recommend a ton of special toys that you can get for your bird in my shorts, with direct links where you can purchase them and keep your bird happy and engaged. Controlled access to mirrors. I know what you're thinking. You've been told not to give your bird a mirror as if a single look at it will make your bird go mad. Your bird can look at mirrors, and guess what? It even makes your bird happy and excited, especially if it's a lonely bird. Giving your bird some mirror time under your supervision is perfectly fine. Just don't hang a mirror inside your bird's cage and don't give your bird access to mirrors all the time. Quiet time. Your bird is usually the noisy one. And it's only reasonable that you're the one who wants quiet time from your bird. However, your bird sometimes also appreciates periods of solitude, allowing it to have quiet time without excessive noise or stimulation can be meaningful to it. Hiding spots. Living inside a cage is not easy. You're always visible from any angle and exposed to danger. Your bird can find comfort in having hiding spots within its cage or the surrounding environment. Provided with perches that are not too close to the cage door or also a perch at the corner of the cage so it has a sense of security. For us people, a small kiss or a hug is a form of love and affection. And that's why it's common to see bird owners kissing and cuddling with their birds. But does your bird actually understand kisses and hugs? Or does it think you're strange and just rolls with your odd behavior? Do birds really like hugs and kisses? When we see a person we love or our cute bird, we immediately want to touch them, kiss them, and show them our love. But at the same time, it is important to remember that birds are very different species, with their own methods of communication. Within your bird's mind, kissing and hugging don't really exist. And now you're probably thinking that you see your birds kissing each other all the time. But that's just your perception. Most times, your birds are kissing during bonding. And what is actually happening is that the male bird is passing food to the female one. You can also see a form of a kiss when two birds are preening each other. 
But what they're actually doing is spreading their feathers, such as those on the head and face, that the other bird can't reach. If you kiss or hug your bird to show affection, it might not understand your purpose behind this behavior. Unfortunately, a gesture of affection of this kind might be felt like an invasion of your bird's personal space. Can your bird learn kisses? With given time, your bird may learn to associate kisses as a display of affection. Although birds do enjoy being quite independent, they still like receiving attention and spending time with the people they trust. Oftentimes, our bird may show us its love by being needy, tilting their heads for a scratch, or just wanting to spend time with us. How to tell if your bird doesn't want to be kissed? A bird who does not want to be kissed will show its stress by giving you certain signals. Some birds will bite or hiss, while others might just fly away and avoid you altogether. And this is the perfect moment to remind you to never force your bird into doing something it does not want to do. How to show your bird affection There are many ways to show your bird affection beyond kisses. If your bird lets you, bonding with scratches and pets is an excellent way to show affection. Your bird will surely appreciate a gentle rub around its head. And for those who have birds that are more skittish and just don't like being touched, you can either give them time and try taming them, or just accept their personality and show your love through different ways, like feeding them treats and spoiling them with toys.